Hello everybody. Well, I just decided to give you a little update on what's going on in my life. Well, uh, let's start off with AT&T. I put in the paperwork so then that way I can get the $14,000 charge removed. Uh, I should find out sometime this week or beginning of next week on the outcome of all this. Um, so far it looks promising so the girl that I spoke to was really nice and she did everything that she could do. Unfortunately, my account is not an unlimited account, so I'm cutting back on a lot of things. But what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on getting cable in my house. Now, unfortunately, I can't afford it right now. But there is one thing that I could do so I could afford it, and I don't believe I'm going to say this out loud. Because I wasn't going to you know, say it out loud if I did do it, but I'm going to do it. Um... I'm gonna quit smoking again <laughs> but this time hopefully it's for good and um, I'm gonna quit smoking so then that way I can pay for the internet access it's uh, it costs me to smoke a pack of cigarettes and I smoke a cheaper brand it cost me about eight dollars so when Beth um, put up her video this past week about paying six bucks or something like that in Hawaii and when I speak to Travis, he spends $4.99 for a pack of cigarettes. I was like, I wish I could pay that much money. Or in my case, that little money. So it was it's kind of funny that 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 they would say that. You know, it's funny that I although I spent eight bucks, that's actually cheap. Because if I smoke the more name brand cigarette, it could run as much as eleven dollars people you know what i can do with eleven dollars a day yeah i smoke pack a day yeah i know it's not good for me but hopefully i'll kill two birds with one stone i'll get my internet back and probably that won't be for a little bit because i have to quit smoking first so i can pay for it and secondly hopefully my health will be better so it'll hopefully it's a win-win situation I just see it that way. It's a win-win situation right now. So, so keep our fingers crossed and hopefully that works. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, my dad. Yeah, yeah. We we just found out that um, he might have cancer. Um, they haphazardly, he's haphazardly. I can't talk today. Uh, he, they haphazardly told him he had cancer. I don't know if it's true or if he misunderstood them. Cause, you know his English is Spanish that happens and um, but if he does we don't know what kind and don't know how he got it or whatever so my sister's going to the doctor with him on Wednesday and we'll find out more information and find out exactly what's going on but we keep our fingers crossed keep them in your prayers and hopefully or your thoughts you know for those who don't believe in a higher power or believe in uh, whatever you know what I mean um so we just keep them in our thoughts and our prayers please well, anyway um what else has been going on i went out this weekend i went out this week actually and um there is this webisode that they're they're here on youtube they have their own website but they put their videos up on youtube it's um eight episodes uh it's called drama queens check the link on the side i put it up on the side and it's funny um my friend uh through the alcove kev he told me about them and um, and I noticed they were having a little screening on Thursday over at the center which is the the uh, lesbian gay bisexual transgender yeah you know what I mean uh, center <laughs> the gay and lesbian center <laughs> well anyway um, so I went and I got to meet the cast they were really nice um, and the, the episodes are really funny and I, I mean I see some really great things that people have put out but this was I don't know I actually really really enjoyed this it was a lot of fun to watch um, and I got to meet the cast and they were really nice um, well most of them anyway when I had to wait from a distance because I had to leave for work because it was just before work but it was a lot of fun and I wish others would have been able to join me but it you know but it was fun nonetheless. Fun, 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 fun time had by all. All right. So check out the check out the the, the the link on the side if you're on YouTube. 
And uh, what else is going on in my life? Uh, oh yeah, I decided to also go online today and I you know check on email and stuff, whatever. And um, actually, I went to this one site and I actually met somebody. Yay! Um, he seems like a really nice guy. Um, I'm not expecting too much out of it because I never do. And um, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. He seems like a nice guy. And so far we have some things in common and some I don't know about too many knots yet, but that in time. I mean, we only met him today. So what am I gonna do? But it seemed like a promising. It seems like a nice guy and I'm hoping it works out. But you know how it is when you first meet people they seem so nice and they seem so wonderful and then all of a sudden you put a ring on their finger or something you get to really know them and they become satan spawn so <laughs> we just hope that it doesn't and this is something that might be promising uh it's really nice out i hope everybody has a good week um well here in new york it's very nice i don't know how it is in your neck of the woods but um, we're 83 degrees, so I'm loving it. I've become more active. I went out yesterday. I took a nice long walk. I walked through Brooklyn. I didn't take my camera because, you know, with the situation with my internet, I didn't want to start putting up a lot of videos and stuff like that. So, but in due time, people, in due time. And um, yeah, it gave me some time to think about things and put my life into perspective and where I'm at. Yeah, I can do that at home because I don't live with anybody. You know that that can interrupt me in that sense but it's different when you go out and do it than staying home and doing it so it was actually very productive for me and i'm glad i did got a chance to get out of the house and so this week uh should be very nice for me anyway and everything should be great so i hope it's great for you guys too and um and uh, i won't stay uh, away for too long I won't, but um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of heads up what's going on with me right now. So everything is fine. I'm fine. Health-wise, I'm fine. Everything's good. So and then, what more can I ask for? You know, and hopefully Friday it's going to rain, but rain is good. And it washes, away, it washes away all the dirt. I wish it would wash away the kids from my doorstep. Sometimes it does. But anyway, I'll see you guys later, right? Te lo veo.